Hi, welcome to this video today, which is on the uh, 3rd of June. It's Monday and it's 7.30 p.m. GMT, just going to look at a couple of trade setups today. Two lesser looked at pairs, USDMXN and USD Rub, but you'll have them probably on your trading platforms. And I uh, just want to look at these pairs in relation to going against record net short speculative positions on the COT Net Traders Report, which is our favorite tool in Forex trading. Now, USD MXN has worked out really well for us and still more upside to come. USD RUB is shaping up right now, I think, for a really big move. Now, in terms of you are unfamiliar with the COT, um, basically what we're looking to do on the report is just basically go with smart money commercial hedges and their positions diverge significantly away from speculators always offers you good risk to reward trades now i am looking at big net short positions or speculative net short positions in two minor pairs today doesn't matter what the pair is called though you'll get decent divergences regularly and when we see them we will normally go with the commercials now what we are going to do is we are going to go and take a look at the charts uh, but please do keep in mind it is my view as of right now it can change in line with the market conditions if you want all our trading techniques and our daily technical sentiment analysis of 14 for experts you can click on the link beneath this video and get live access to our member center and also you'll get all our cot net traders uh, research and opinions as well right let's take a look at the charts usd mxn first right one well, usd mxn daily chart do my levels in a moment the first one we just look at the cot net traders positions the latest ones that came out on friday now in terms of the two groups that we're looking at, speculators and commercials, commercials, smart money, I think I said that in the intro, you want, or we want, the commercials to go heavily against the speculators, then we'll be interested in going with the commercials. Now, we express it as just a simple ratio, so speculators three to one in terms of their shorts over their longs, which is pretty big for them. Uh, commercials, 4.1 to one in terms of longs, over shorts, which is a sizable position for them as well. They've, they've diverged against each other at 7.7, .7, which is a, a really good divergence in this pair historically. Now, just before I discuss this um, record net short position here, um, I'll do my levels just quickly through the MXN fundamentals. Yeah, why are commercials so bearish to pay so bullish the dollar? Um, well, the only advantage the MXN has got is the interest rate advantage uh, and speculators have gone for that so what they've done is they've sold the USD on the MXN to pick up what is a very ac attractive carry interest okay but that's the only good thing going for the MXN yeah we've had GDP that's had a contraction recently the economy is not doing well and you've got the worst cocktail of all high inflation high interest rates you should raise interest rates to control inflation because then you'll choke economic growth market thinks mexico will raise interest rates i don't think so i think they're on hold or they will cut bearish for the peso also trade wars yeah obviously mexico's involved in them and we've got risk off a nervous market two more bearish fundamentals for the peso and what i didn't write write down which I just remember is obviously you know, your global growth really slowing up that really hurts emerging market currencies and economies like mexico okay so basically bearish for the peso in our view now in terms of the charts down here speculators were at a record net short position they started to build it up as we came down here but the support level holds then holds again really big selling from the speculators in terms of volume really big buying from the commercials into this level here uh, we actually came in long, and 1903 is the trade we've got in at the moment. The way you move up with a slight upward bias, okay, until you get this big blue here, you know, you're not making any money because you're getting caught by the carry. It can be very frustrating. <laughs> um, in terms of, yeah, when you've got a big divergence, yeah, if you're a CAT trader, just be patient. You have a small position in, drop another one in on a breakout if you want, or whatever. But uh, eventually, um, yeah, the divergence here has played out. And it's a really good move. You can see these candles here, 
no real volatility. Why have I got a red low? There we go. Just hanging around this 20 day moving average really. And then we lift off the 20 day moving average and we got some follow through today. And we've taken out a level, which I think is important, which is just above. So let me get my line straight. That double top has now given way. It's just above the 1950 level. And I think, yeah, that should hold pullbacks, okay, if they come. At the moment, we're in at 1903, and we've got our stop back behind that second level. Well, I want to move it up, okay? Now, if you're considering this trade, I'll go through the target in a moment. If you want to do this as a fresh trade, I think you'd key off this level here in 1950 on strength if we did pull back, or just go for a break of the double top, okay? If we break the double top, then our stop will come up probably to 1947. Now, in terms of the upside potential for this one, if you're coming in on a breakout, so there. I'm not, I'm not showing the weekly chart in this video, but uh, the first level on the daily chart, which you can see here, is obviously 2050. But I think we could go as high as 22. And that comes from just yeah, watching this pair over a number of years of the COT. Uh, while a lot of speculators will have been hit on stop, there'll be more to come. Okay, and also you've got to keep in mind that if the USD really starts gaining traction to the upside, the specs will reverse their position. So, so plenty more upside. So on a breakout, you can just tuck your stop back there to there. You've only just got near enough three to one. But if you go up to 22, um, I'm not sure how big that is. It's 10 to one or something like that. And my maths is not very good today. Um, but yeah, you can look at the weekly chart yourself. But yeah, I mean, it's set up. It took a little while to play out. And I know that a lot of people have been following this in the Facebook group and um, just generally in the member center. And yeah, some people obviously not too experienced with the COD. Others, you know, are. It's very hard to hold that candle, this big blue, because the temptation is there to bank. You know, what I've been saying to people is it's probably going to run on. That's the way the COT works. But just take partial profits if you, if you want to, okay? I know a lot of people are holding full positions as well. And it's it's very easy to say, oh yeah, Mexican pesos going down, USD's going up. But when you're sitting on a big profit, you don't know what's going to happen next. Give yourself some peace of mind, so to speak. Take a little bit off the table. Now this, this trade's obviously working well. Um, I've got a very similar setup now forming in USD rub. So let's go and take a look at right, that. Chart. USD rub daily chart and very similar um, to USD MXN. Speculators build up a record net short position here and we bounce, we come up, but we haven't yet broken higher. Okay, I think we're going to. Uh, we'll do my technical levels obviously in a moment. But let's look at the CAT divergence as it is right now. 8.6, speculators 5.9 to 1 in terms of shorts over longs. Their position isn't that much different from down here. They're still holding massive short position. Uh, commercials 2.7 to 1, longs over shorts, so bullish. Uh, but it's the speculators here that are important. And the stops, um, I don't think they're too far away. I'll come to where I think they are in a moment. And uh, just do the rub fundamentals very quickly. Uh, interest rate is the only advantage the ruble has, a bit similar to the MXN. It's an emerging market economy, massive uh, exporter of commodities. Commodity prices going down. Look what's happening to crude at the moment. It's getting hammered. Copper. Yeah, wherever you look, commodity prices are going down. They're going down a lot further as the global economy slows up. Uh, trade wars and risk off bearish for the rub. Geopolitical situation always tense between the US and Russia, if that uh, escalates, then that'll be good for the USD as well. So come up quite nicely. And now we just need to break out. And I think there. So a move above Friday's high. If you want it, you could wait for clearance of the round number. But I just don't see much downside in this pair. So I'd be, if I was coming in with a fresh position, go straight through that level. Your major support level is here. Okay, so 65. Yeah, where the 20-day moving average is. So just back from there, I think 
is a good stop. And yeah, if we do break up, I expect stops to get run. Okay, so you can see a big blue really accelerate to the upside. I don't know if that makes sense. There's a trajectory there which coincides with those two, sorry, those two candles there. So you could move the stop up on a nice blue through the level. Because if we do get through there, but it's nice and blue, you'd expect, or I would expect, continuation. So stop initially, sorry, get rid of that line. Stop initially be behind there, break above, drop it behind there. Where are we going? Um, I should have drawn the weekly chart or taken this chart a little bit further left, but it's over here really, the 69 level. So I think that's a, a, a realistic target due to the size of the speculative short position. Uh, if we did come back to the 20 day moving average, you could always key off that level and put it long in. We're already long um, and we're looking to add to longs. Now, obviously uh, showing you know, two record net short positions held by speculators. You don't obviously get records uh, very often. It's unusual to have two together. Um, but uh, if you see the really big divergences, yeah, not just records, but yeah, let's say they're a five year divergence uh, or their positions as big as it's been in five years. It's always a good setup to go for. I mean, CO2 divergences, we just obviously uh, like them anyway. I just want to point these two out today, both records, USD, MXN on the up. And now we're hoping for uh, USD rub to be on the up as well. We'll see how this one goes. This one, of course, is in the uh, guest pair section of the member center. If you want to check it daily. All right, that is the video today. Thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care. Have a good day.